just love how Fjord Fuzz his brain works. He is just bad crazy for starters. Um, but then he comes up with really unique pedal ideas and translates that into a pedal that normal people know how to work with. And his new Loki is no exception. It's, he calls it, um, this is what he calls it. A virtual reel-to-reel -reel tape deck, a study in short delay times. So this is the first non-fuzz pedal, I think, from Fjord Fuzz. And the Loki is basically a mixer with two almost identical signals. One of those signals can be delayed either 0 to 100 milliseconds or 0 to 400 milliseconds. So there's a lot of usable delay in there. You won't get like a second of delay time, but it's not meant to do that. And it takes on a really unique approach to mixing and therefore you can also make it sound like a chorus. We're just gonna dive into the control so you can immediately see how easy it is to operate this pedal because at first I was a little intimidated by it but when I started fiddling um, it was no problem at all. We're gonna start with all the controls at zero. Double check if the cameras are running. I'm playing my Heritage H150 custom core. It's a fantastic guitar. Uh, really nice low output PAFs. Um, going into the Silton amp, into the bus tube amp, expander into the interface and with all knobs at zero it sounds like this. But then this side right here is the mixer. Top controls your dry signal, this is the delayed signal. So um, adding some dry signal. <laughs> For comparison, it's a super clean preamp. This was with the pedal turned off right now, if, in case you didn't catch that. Um, but you can drive your signal as well, drive your amp, drive other pedals. But I would put this after drive pedals because it's a delay as well. So that's the thing it can do. Now we're gonna introduce some delay time. Right now it's set to the 0 to 100 millisecond delay time. Press this switch and you're going to 400 milliseconds. And it's got a pink LED. That is a fantastic touch. I love that. Look at that pink LED. So some delay time and then we have to introduce some feedback as well, which are the repeats. <laughs> and then obviously turn on the mixer knob of the delay signal. So let's set it just a little lower in volume. That's really short. Here we go, it's nice slap back. You get the idea. Um, more delay time, 100 milliseconds. More feedback. do much here but if we go to the 400 millisecond the pink setting doesn't that sound gorgeous it's fantastic it's it's a really really clean tape style delay you don't need tone controls I think on the pedal like this 
it would add to its versatility but would also add like option paralysis it sounds fantastic <laughs> So, for instance, if you have like a nice slapback delay set, let's crank the volume just a tiny little bit. So, slapback. <laughs> You can switch to a lush delay. All right, introducing modulation, these two knobs. Um, the top one controls top, top controls altitude, bottom controls density and um, altitude can be seen like depth of the modulation and density like speed. So introducing some modulation. <laughs> This opens up a whole world of possibilities with chorus flanging stuff. Um, there's a trick on delays like the Memory Man, I think. Well, a bunch of analog delays that have modulation knobs. If you set the time at zero um, and introduce modulation, you can make it sound like a chorus. Now, with this, you can set time at zero and um, feedback at zero. Set the dry control to zero and then you're left with... <laughs> Turning on density... More feedback... And start flanging, phasing... Drive pedal. And now some dry signal. It's, it's so cool. It is so cool. Um, that is basically what, what, what the controls do. But there is there are, you know, with pedals like these, you have tons of options. Um, so therefore, Fjord Fuzz includes not one, but two sheets uh, with 20 presets which he says right here, this is just to get you started. He's crazy. Um, so, let's see. We have overdrive, we have parallel drive. Add in wet signal for a parallel drive texture. All right, so this is all at zero and then cranking it. Without the wet signal. So 
super cool. Um, these are all for the short mode. Oh, by the way, there's an expression jack on the bottom as well, so you can manipulate stuff and make it even weirder. Let's do whale calls. I like whale calls. <laughs> Feedback higher. Woo! That's not a whale I want to run into, it's gonna eat me. Going to oh, pink one tape echo. Well, we heard that unsynchronized tape machine add random modulation to approximate tape delays with motor issues. <laughs> UFO crash landings. At full or close to full feedback, use your expression pedal to send your pitched oscillation into UFO crash landings and theremin tones. Um, that I gotta try. Hang on, I'm gonna <laughs> grab, an, uh, grab an expression pedal. I'll be right back! Alright, I'm scared. <laughs> Another one with the expression pedal. Warped chord transitions. Use an expression pedal to bend time between chords for amazing creative effects. Okay, I'm not very creative, so we'll see what happens. What I said, super creative, um, really great tones and so much fun to play. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel because it helps to grow the channel. And if you want to score some of my gem, gem tracks, <laughs> you can find those on my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!